Hi. So by now I hope you have already registered your app and come to the main screen of Apnemi Rare Password Unlocker. In this session I am going to show you how to get started by using Apnemi Rare Password Unlocker to unlock a test rare file. This rare file has been protected with a password. So this rare file has couple of files and all are protected. So Apnemi Rare Password Unlocker is going to recover that particular password. So let's get started. Before starting, let me show you the different options which you can set for the recovery session. You can set the length, minimum length and the maximum length. You can set the prefix and suffix. Now what is prefix and suffix here? Prefix and suffix are basically those words, those rather those part of the words password which you remember. You might have forgotten some of the middle ones. For example, if you remember first few characters of the password, you can just enter it here. So the app will generate the passwords and basically will use it, use your prefix and then test it out. Similarly for suffix, if you remember some of the last characters of your password, you can use it. Now this app works on two different methods of recovery, dictionary method and brute force method. In dictionary method, it will take an input as a, some, a text file which will contain some already well defined passwords which are there. You can uh, can have your own word list or you can use the word which is there with the app. There are several places where you can get the word list of the recently used or commonly used uh, passwords. Now coming down to the second option which is the brute force which is the most common way of recovering the lost password. For the brute force option basically the app generates different combinations of characters to basically recover your lost password. So there are several options which you can set. For example, you can set the up, whether the uppercase letters are to be included in the generated passwords or not, lowercase letters, numbers, some special characters and you can also use the custom characters. So these are the options which you can set for the recovery session. To get started, we will use the brute force method and we'll just use lowercase letters and numbers for the time being. Or we can set the numbers as well or we can just leave it the lowercase letters as this is a test which I am showing you. But you can set whatever options which you want. But it is suggested that you start with the lowercase and then the combination of lowercase and numbers and then the combination of uppercase, lowercase and numbers and then you go to special characters. So let's get started. We'll select the file. I already have the file downloaded in my downloads folder. I'll just select it from here. Here. Let me get started. Now before starting, let me show you what is there at the bottom. This is where all the stats will show up. Basically time elapsed words per second, the rate at which the recovery is going on, words already which has been generated, some time remaining basically, the words, current word which is being tried out and the words remaining. Sometimes recovery process can end in a, like a couple of minutes, sometimes it takes hours, sometimes days, weeks. So it depends on the complexity of the password. So let's get started. As you can see, the recovery process has started and the words are being shown out here. The words processed and the words remaining. So all this data will help you to analyze how much time it might take, 
and also remember this words per second will improve as you work on our laptops with a higher memory and processor speed so it depends a lot on that also so one more good thing about it is that i can pause the recovery process anytime i want so here i have paused it you can in fact close the app and then come back and still you will be having the same data out here and it will start from the same look uh, word which was there so let us just resume it for now so it will take some time let me show you the how multi session is done with this application now that you can see the words has it's already regenerated the b characters so i'll just pause it and it has already processed around 1600 words so let me pause it and then i will close the app and then again start the app let me close the app i have closed it now i will again restart the app see it has come to the word, number of words which has processed and it will start from here itself so this is very useful when you are traveling between office and work and you are shutting down the computer or for some reason it has shut down so you can restart from where you have left so i'll just resume it from where i have left so it has restarted from where i have left and i'll leave it like that till it recovers the password after recovering it will show the password at the bottom in this particular text field so as you can see the password has been recovered and it is pwd so this is how you can use the app and get started recovering the password all the best